Back to follow-up segment tonight, as you may know, pro wrestler Chris Benoit murdered his wife, seven-year-old son, earlier this week in suburban Atlanta. Benoit then hanged himself. Now comes word that 14 hours before the bodies were discovered, before, there was a posting on Wikipedia announcing the death of Nancy Benoit. Just more bizarre stuff in this awful case. With this now to analyze, Fox News anchor Geraldo Rivera. And every day, this gets uh, more and more bizarre. I think that there is going to be increased scrutiny of WWE and what role they played in, I don't know about the facts and circumstances surrounding the death necessarily, but certainly in the steroid abuse of the people who are their actors in this entertainment that we see. It obviously combines great athleticism, but there's also heavy steroid use. They know about the heavy steroid use. Today, there were raids on Benoit's doctor in the Atlanta area, raids on the, uh, the Internet pharmacy in Florida that also prescribed drugs to him and many others. So I think, and when you recall, that WWE did everything it could in the immediate wake of this tragedy to downplay the, the possibility animal. that yep. there was roid rage and yep. say, oh, no, it was because the, the couple had been feuding over the care of their developmentally disabled seven-year-old son, Daniel. What a bunch of bunk that was. They were trying intentionally to deflect the public's attention from this steroid use. But now comes this, uh, this mysterious Wikipedia posting at midnight on Sunday. Remember, the bodies that's are... that's legit, right? That, that's we don't provable. know. We don't know. What the, it is legit that they received the posting. We don't know if it could have been, by chance, a, a hoax posting that he didn't... He missed the PPP, that would be he missed the pay-per-view event. Unbelievable coincidence. It would, would be it an unbelievable... But I'll tell you another coincidence. The authorities say that here is Chris Benoit. He kills his wife, Nancy, on Friday, June 15th, mm -hmm. or Saturday, June 16th. Did you know that on Friday, June 15th, a woman named Sherry Martell also died of unnatural causes related to drug use? Who is Sherry Martell? She is another woman connected to these, this group of professional wrestlers. Indeed, the guy who was the original husband of uh, Chris's wife, Nancy, the one he allegedly murdered, he was this other woman, Sherry Martell's, uh, Sherry Martell's, uh, Bar uh, Martell's booker and friend. So, so they were all a, in and, that. And she died the same day, Bill, June 15th, Friday, June 15th. So they were all in the same industry, the wrestling the same industry. same industry. They all knew each other. Right. They were all connected. It's and one she degree of, of separation. An overdose? They haven't said yet. They say it was not natural causes. Right. They don't suspect foul play. It means a drug overdose. Now, when you have a situation like this, and, and uh, Americans are locked into it, do you think this is going to damage the industry? Uh, I, I or think, do you think the authorities are going to go in and really go through it? Well, I think that before you even get to whether or not they are covering up the steroid abuse, you have to find out if that email, which was posted from Stanford, Connecticut, which is where the headquarters of WWE is, was it posted by some official at WWE? Or was it the hoax that some now say? If it was posted by someone at WWE, they were obviously in communication with Chris Benoit. It is alleged on that Sunday night, June 17th, Chris Benoit was IMing. He was instant messaging people, talking to his friends as he's watching the wrestling event that he was supposed to be at in Texas. Right. So here he's going like this. Did he send a text message to WWE, I killed my wife, uh, or my wife just died? What did he say? Did Chris say, and who at WWE caught those messages? Is, I think the feds have to subpoena every single electronic Is it a federal investigation now? It, because it, the Atlanta authorities are handling a murder case. Yes, and New York and DEA did the Florida drug raids, so the right? feds are already involved at, cer at a certain level. Mm -hmm. But I think this is going to be gigantic. This I do will too. affect WWE. We don't know if it's a double murder suicide or it's something more insidious. Maybe it's a triple murder. Maybe it's a quadruple murder. Well, if they, get to, if they can prove that steroid use was ordered by the top guys in the wrestling federation they'll arrest them i don't know if you go that far what if you can prove that everybody in town knows that everybody is doing whatever everybody is doing steroid use coming out the gazoo and do nothing now it's a little less uh, clear as to their criminal liability but i think you've definitely got a story here that will affect professional yeah, and just wrestling like boxing boxing way. went down at one point because of all the corruption and the fixes and all of that you're going to have indictments in this case. this case. All right. Well, I'll do our very, buddy. Thank you, as always. Thank you. And watch them on the weekends at 8 o'clock.